Thank you, Kelly. Well, it's a Thursday tradition right here on Wake Up Today, answering your medical questions and concerns. Here to do just that is Dr. Kalani Brady from the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, Christine. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Okay, thank you. First question Why do I get pus in my eyes when I wake up in the morning? Maka pia pia. <laughs> we all have uh, little co collections of uh, material that uh, accumulates when we sleep and you can wipe it off and in most cases it's not an infection it's not dangerous mm -hmm. just clean it up it's normal it's normal okay my creatinine is high how can I help this the doctor said it was serious uh, creatinine is an indicator of uh, several possibilities one is progressive kidney disease uh, creatinines elevate during kidney disease Another is dehydration, although the BUN usually rises more than the creatinine. And then a third could be muscle damage. So uh, that can cause a creatinine elevation. I would follow up with the doctor to find out what the cause is and appropriate treatment for that particular cause. And what is creatinine? Creatinine is an enzyme that's in the body that's released when muscle uh, and other tissues break down. Okay. And it's cleared in the kidneys. Okay, cleared in the kidneys. Okay. I had knee surgery three months ago and I still have something pinching in the back of my knee. What could this be? You know, I would go back to the doctor that did the knee surgery, mm -hmm. who obviously was right in there and knows best what the pathology was for the surgery and ask that doctor, what could this be? It could be something that's part of normal healing or it could be something more serious, but don't ask on the TV about something when uh, we haven't seen the knee. Okay. My left hand fingers are numb and tingly for the past two months. What should I do with that? Again, your friendly neighborhood doctor is the place to go. Finding out a history from you, uh, the doctor will also examine <coughs> and uh, basically come to a diagnosis and with that recommendations. Okay. My husband recently passed away from early onset dementia. We have four grown children. Is this hereditary? In part, Christine, it is. Uh, it's not completely hereditary. Mm -hmm. Just because the father passed because of it doesn't mean everyone will, but it does increase the risk. Is there a way that they can find out if they're more at risk or or no tests just can follow be done. with uh, your doctor at this time okay when I sleep my right hand gets numb and puffy swollen why it's been happening for the past week I'm not as worried about something that only happens for a week mm -hmm. it could be that uh, the person's sleeping position has changed and they're sleeping on the hand which could cause puffiness and numbness I would try and see if they can switch sleeping positions and uh, see if it goes away that way. If it doesn't, there's always your friendly neighborhood doctor. <laughs> we love our friendly neighborhood doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more before we take a break. How does the stomach flu affect a person? Does it take the appetite away? It can take the appetite away. It can also cause mild abdominal pains, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And fortunately, Usually, a stomach virus lasts only a few days. But those few days when you have it can feel miserable. like weeks, right? Yep. All right. right, and you'll be here in about 25 minutes with Absolutely. more answers. All right, thank you, Dr. Brady. <laughs> Dr. Kalani Brady, he joins us once again. Doc, are you going to be watching the biggest wedding on the planet in just a few weeks? I don't think so. You'll catch the highlights. I'll catch the version. highlights. <laughs> Doc, if you don't mind, let's ask you a few questions. We've got someone who called in and said, I just recently diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension. Is walking 15 to 30 minutes every day, is that safe to do? First of all, pulmonary hypertension, Jai, is where the blood vessels in the lungs have a high pressure. Okay. And uh, there, it's different than systemic hypertension, okay. although it's treated with some of the same medicines. Uh, and it basically can be a very serious disease. Okay. So I would follow the advice of the doctor that diagnosed the pulmonary hypertension as to how much exercise is safe. For the most part, we're not talking necessarily about this, but a little bit of exercise is okay. Uh, we, yes. we agree that walking is good for us. It is, but with pulmonary hypertension, there are special 
circumstances okay. that you have to consider. Gotcha. All right. All right. Uh, a caller from Hawaii Island, we've been getting a ton of calls, says, my lower right abdomen is getting constant pain and getting worse. What could this be? This, Jai, could be a host of different things. Okay. It could be anything from a hernia, which okay. is relatively benign, okay. unless it incarcerates, unless it becomes blocked. It could be diverticulitis. It could be a tumor, uh, hopefully not, but okay. it could be colon cancer. There are a whole bunch of things that can cause right lower quadrant pain. Okay. Appendicitis comes to mind, and this is something for which you should see the doctor Okay. sooner than later and diagnose what it is and treat it appropriately. All right, so you may want to give a phone call this morning to, to the doctor to make exactly. sure you get it as soon as you can. Exactly. All right, uh, I have buzzing and itching in my ears. Who should I see and what's the cause of that? I would start with your friendly neighborhood doctor. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. I've got one of those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, it could be something as simple as an ear infection okay. or wax impaction where the wax gets plugged in there and those are easy to treat uh, and resolve the problem, of course. There are more serious conditions, but they're less likely. Okay. Uh, Doc, one last question for you. Let's see. My knee buckles when I walk. Uh, I had a brace, but it doesn't seem to help. What should I do? Again, the doctor is where to go uh, to find out why the knee is buckling. That's not normal. And the doctor may recommend physical therapy to strengthen the knee and a different kind of brace. Not all braces are the same, Jai, okay. and uh, there may be a better brace for this particular problem. I was going to say, if you got the drugstore brace, it may not be quite sufficient, but there's some bigger, heavier, sort of more industrial ones that, that may be helped. Absolutely. Real one quick w w question. We've been talking an awful lot about Hawaii Island. Advice you would have for anyone living in some of those impacted areas with the fumes, with the smoke, with all the different things that are happening, especially if they have some sort of breathing disorder. Right. VOG is a particulate, and it's in the air. Obviously, you can, uh, if you can avoid VOG, then you should avoid VOG. Sure. Uh, inhalers don't help VOG very much. Um, and then hydrogen sulfide coming out of these uh, uh, vents is pretty serious. Okay. And it can cause a lot of irritation of the lungs, the eyes, the skin even. And I would basically avoid uh, hydrogen sulfide from these vents. Dr. Brady, thank you very much. You're going to be here next week? I will. All right. We appreciate it, Dr. Brady. Thanks for answering those questions.